Okay, some realities that some people just don't talk about. You don't have to be perfect. If I'm following a workout regime, regimen, I'm going to look that up later. I do it to the best of my ability that I can at that moment, which might not be as good as the day before, or might not be as good as tomorrow, or maybe it's better. Who knows? I don't know that day how I'm feeling. Um, I might do high knees instead of burpees because my arm hurts or something of that sort. Or I might only hold that plank for 45 seconds and then, you know, get on my knees for the last 15. The point is that you're still trying as hard as you can and you're not giving up and you're moving forward. I might not eat as well that day that I planned on it, but I'm not going to, you know, soak in my feelings and revel about it and, you know, say, well, I screwed that up. What's the point? The point is, you know you can do better, so keep trying to do better. Um, I have four kids. I'm a single mom. I'm working two jobs right now. And I'm still going to mess up in food, in workouts, in my routine. But I'm still here for it. And I'm not just going to give up. And, you know, one day I might decide that I'm going to sit on the couch and watch Netflix and eat some potato chips. But that doesn't mean the next day I'm not going to get my butt out the door and go run some miles, leisurely jog some miles, and keep pushing forward. That's all we can do. Keep trying and never give up. All right. I'm done ranting for the day. I just was tired of people giving me excuses like, well, I can't do that because I don't have time, or, well, I'm too fat and it's not going to work, and my kids won't let me, and this and that. No, you are the one feeding yourself those excuses, and you are the one that has to negate those excuses. You are the only one that can say, F this BS, let's go. So, let's go.